Hi guys, Carl here from Solar Juice. Uh, Andrew wanted us to all do a video of what it looks like to work from home. So uh, here it is. This is what it uh, this is what it looks like to work from my home. So I'm guessing that what you see there is pretty much what you see in your own living room at home. Uh, I find that with the two kids and my uh, partner Angie in the front room, she's uh, working from home as well. It's pretty hectic for uh, for bandwidth at certain times of the day, uh, but ultimately we're uh, we're getting by. It's been very busy for me because, as you know, I've only just started with Solar Juice, uh, and it's a lot of uh, effort and time to contact uh, both new and old customers and uh, have them come across to be uh, buying products that we sell. Uh, in terms of the coronavirus, I appreciate that it's a difficult time for everyone. Everyone's uh, nervous and unsure about what's going to happen. A little bit of background. Uh, the numbers were published for March solar installations um, by SunWiz and other organisations that report these things. And the industry did around 240 megawatts of installs in March. Now, there's around about 250 kilowatts at the outside in a 40 foot container of panels. So that represents nearly a thousand 40 foot containers of solar panels alone that have been installed just last month. Uh, so our industry is booming. Uh, and whilst coronavirus is a risk for the whole world, um, I'm hoping that it uh, doesn't slow down our industry and people uh, using their energy more at home and therefore they need a solar system now more than ever. The biggest risk that we face is the change in the exchange rate. So that will likely remain unstable for a while. Uh, we've seen it drop as low as uh, 55 US cents a week or so ago. Um, it's currently trading about 17% less than it was at Christmas time. And there's no getting past it. Uh, that 17% is not something that any distributor can absorb. And whilst there's some hedges in place uh, for the order book, uh, ultimately it means that sooner or later that uh, increase in module cost, inverter cost and racking cost has to be passed on to the, uh, to the installers. So I recommend putting as much stock as you can at old money, having a look at some old watt classes that you can pick up from your wholesaler at uh, old money or uh, even uh, selling more boutique modules that uh, traditionally are a much smaller portion of the demand in the market, but those boutique products are quite often in stock and hence uh, available at old exchange rates. Thanks very much for your time. Uh, you know where I am. You can get me on carl at solarjuice.com.au and you can call me on 0466 877 536, everyone noticed that I just read that off the computer screen because it's a new number and I haven't memorized it yet. Look forward to your call. Thanks.